Hey, Joe. Um, hey. Just, just what's the, just a bit on the kind of the, the first week in camp. What's it like building it, building a new backline, new faces, few in, few out, few injuries. Can you just give us a picture of, of, of what, what it's like, what the process is like? Yeah, I mean the first bit's kind of just uh, to get the togetherness really. That like that's the that's the big drive. So obviously we started off with the the Masogi, um, which uh, which is always a tough challenge, and it's just a it's just us all getting together, really working as a team, doing something completely non rugby related. Um, so yeah, to bring us all together. So yeah, we start off the week with that, and then obviously we had a little bit of togetherness anyway with uh, with the evacuation of our hotel. So that always brings the boys together when you're trapped in a room with no lights. Um, but now nah, it's been a, it's been a good start to the week. We've had our first training session today, and uh, the boys are looking really sharp. I mean, as a as a kind of midfield dynamic, do you have have you had little group group meetings in in the pub? <laughs> uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, because when 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 we were obviously in the um, evacuation, we 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 got sent to a pub around the corner, and we kind of split off there. All the all the outside backs were together, all the inside backs, and all the forwards, um, and basically just talked about. What we're looking to do this campaign, um, and yeah, how we can how we can get that in for the first session, uh, which was today. Who kind of who who would lead lead that meeting now with, among the players among the backs? Is there a kind of dominant voice now? Owen's gone, or is, is it is everyone kind of you know finding their feet? And to be honest, everyone's kind of finding their feet. Really, it's um, obviously uh, the the lads who have played a bit more would speak up in terms of experience wise. Um, if we're talking about uh, like a campaign like a Six Nations where. Uh, it's really different to anything else anyone's experienced um, and just imparting a bit of wisdom. But other than that, obviously, game leaders, the tens, nines, uh, they do most of the talking um, and just kind of just just uh, speak really about how we can get our play going forward uh, and really kick start strong. And with Owen and Henry out, or Henry wasn't training this week, have you, have you, had to, have you been filling in in the midfield? How, how, how adaptable have you got to be? How, you know, is this the kind of true test of the hybrid, hybrid nature? Yeah, it's kind of, um, we haven't really, we've just been mixing it around. Uh, obviously, it was only day one today, so everyone's just been mixing it around. No one has any idea what's going to happen with selection. So for all of us, it's literally just getting the combinations with everyone, like kind of on point, um, learning how each other plays. And uh, yeah, just just trying to make sure that um, whenever selection is done or whatever for the for the team next week, that we can just fill straight in and um, and yeah, just put our best foot forward. Are you comfortable in the midfield if there's a kind of shortage there as well? As well? Uh, yeah, I mean, comfortable wherever, to be honest, just want to play. <laughs> I mean, I think we're all in the same boat. Um, yeah, midfield on the wing, um, either or just, uh, yeah, just really just hoping for a, an opportunity to play, really. And, and the high, this talk of the hybrid players now, I mean, as a player, does that, does that mean much to you? What, how much work do you do on being able to fit in in different positions and how transferable are the skills and, and things like that? Uh, I think, oh, sorry, go on. Sorry, no, I'll finish um, yeah, I think the skills are pretty transferable, especially from 13 to the wing. Um, there's subtle differences here and there, but just in like extras afterwards and um, and like in chain and just making sure we're like um, like practicing all the kind of skills, making sure we're doing our high balls as well as our handling skills and our and our um, you know and our defending, like double defending and everything. So yeah, I mean, in the game as you end up. If you're starting, at, if you're playing at thirteen, you end up doing a lot of stuff on the wing anyway, or in the backfield. Same again when you're when you're on the wing, you just end up shifting in and going into the front line. So, I think oh, there's a lot of boys in the same situation where we can play different positions. Um, so it's just about getting comfortable and learning all the everything we need to know and moving forward. Just that pub meeting. What was it like? Pub, pub grub, pie and chips. Yeah, a bit of burgers all around. Really, to be honest, burgers and fish and chips. Um, just before we got, well, we obviously got there and we'd been. Uh, darting around the streets of Brighton as we got there there was a power cut in there as well so we were just sat in the dark really for for a while but you know it's character building so <laughs> uh, yeah getting the team together so yeah no ghost stories but it was uh yeah it was um yeah it just it was just good to be could be to, could be, to be together as a team cheers mate thanks and we've probably only got time for one more in the live section so John Westby will come to you thank you Thanks. Just on the positional thing, Joe, I mean, you've obviously been used in different places by club and country. Do you have a preferred position these days? Uh, I think 13 is where I've played most of my rugby um, and, um, yeah, just where I'd probably have, have the most experience at, both at, um, well, at a club, really. Um, but internationally, obviously, I've played a little bit more on the wing and got to move in in that South Africa game. So 
I mean, I'm easy playing either. Um, I love just being on the pitch, uh, whether it's a 13 on the wing. Um, yeah, it's just uh, just hopefully get an opportunity. So when the inside backs and outside backs were meeting, what were, you, were you shuffling between the two then? Uh, on the outside backs, because they're 13 and like kind of wings and stuff. Yeah, they're all there. <laughs> And did, did did you find the switch to wing a particular challenge initially? Uh, not particularly, because um, I played the uh, when I started at at Quinns. I was alone at Worthing, actually, just around the corner from here, and I played on the wing predominantly there. Um, and then when I was over in New Zealand, I got a couple of games on the wing there. Um, so then coming back to this Quinns season, we had a, I had a good chat with um, with Tabs at the beginning of uh, well when he came really, and it was kind of a bit like. Um, he was just trying to get me as much experience at premiership level uh, on the wing as well as 13, so that if I was to play internationally, that I could do both.